What's up everybody, it's Brandon LoCaren here and today we're talking about are we in a seller's market or are we in a buyer's market? I'm gonna take a deep dive into some of the statistics that came out recently and it is, it like the market is looking great and when you guys see what I'm about to tell you, you'll realize like the media is not telling you the truth or really telling you the full truth, right? So these stats are spe specifically for the mid-Atlantic market. Um, you know, this is like a lot of East Coast stuff, but I think it's true for most of the United States. And there are like some bigger markets that are pulling things down. You know, when you look at the, the overall, you know, national statistics, but that's like because they have big prices, right? So like California is one you know, that's pulling down things and that's based on policy and just based on the way things are in the city. New York is another one, right? Because those home prices are huge. So when you have, you know, 10, 20, $30 million homes that are dropping by, you know, 20%, it, it shows, it hurts that statistics. Like, so you have to kind of look at things like from a different lens and from more so of a, like a, a more of like a microeconomically and then kind of zoom out into macroeconomically because I think the markets that are growth markets like suburban, you know, basically purple states, red states, um, you know, they're generally going to have like better growth markets just because of policy. Um, this is not even getting, you know, political, but it's there is some truth to be said with with these sort of policies in place like New York. You know, they, they have an immigration problem. You've got people just like wanting to go back to their country because they realize it's not as good as they sold it to them, right? Um, same thing happening in, in California, right? There's a lot of people that really like the crime is rampant. The, the it's, it's just like a really messy situation in a lot of California right now. So I have friends that live there and they're not liking it. A lot of people are moving out of California. It's like the massive exodus, right? So, all right, let's jump into it. So here's the thing, right? So closing sales, um, believe it or not, and these, these stats are year over year. So, um, last year in December, right? These are all going back to December of last year. We saw basically a massive drop of like 5.6%, right? And the reason for that is like, while people say like, yeah, home sales are down, home sales are down. Yes, they are down, but guess what? So is inventory. So if you have less of something to sell and the same amount of people looking to buy, well, of course there's going to be less sell because there's less of that inventory, less of that thing to buy. So remember, you got to look at the big picture here. When you're hearing these, you know, like these outlets telling you, Hey, home sales are down. Well, of course there is going to be low home sales because inventory is also down, which is the second half of the truth that they're not telling you. So median sales price, let's talk about that, right? So in the mid Atlantic region, we saw it went up by 8.1%. That means that home prices are probably going up about the same thing, right? So home prices are going up by 8.1% year over year. And this includes the drop that we saw at earlier of 2023. And here we are one year later and things have rebounded. The market is starting to improve again from a home price perspective, especially in growth markets, right? Um, so days on market, days on market are going down. We're seeing like you know, new listings that are going on the market is significantly down. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier is that when you have less of something to sell, of course, home prices are going to go up and sales are going to go down because there's less of that thing. So inventory is down by 10% year over year. Like think about that. And prior to that, we were down 50%. So if it's down 50% and then another 10% of that 50%, like home prices are going to continue to go up. So that's something to keep in mind, right? Now, showings are also down and that's, and there's no, no doubt in that. And that's because, you know, with interest rates going up, um, obviously it's basically pushed some buyers out of the market. So, you know, interest rates going up, push buyers out of the market as well as like slim inventory. Inventory is very low right now. So, you know, of course, like, you know, you're going to see that. So, you know, showings are down definitely. So, the other thing too is like home demand index, like we're starting to see things like kind of like level off in a sense, right? Like things are starting to, to level off. It's not really like showing a, a signs of a seller's market or necessarily a buyer's market, but based on the data, we can say like, Hey, we were in a seller's market and we we're entering a seller's market. So one of the things is like, one of the things to look forward to moving into next year 
is where mortgage rates are going to be, right? I'm sorry, this year, 2024, is looking at where mortgage rates are going to be. So I think like in the upcoming next two months, I think the rest of January, February, and maybe early March, I think is going to be the prime time for buyers. And I'm sure you guys have been hearing that a lot. Maybe not. But the reason I believe it's going to be the prime time for buyers is because the data is pointing to things looking up, right? And remember, data is sort of like a lagging indicator. It, it takes time for this data to accumulate, and then it takes time for um, it to, to sort of like roll out, right? Because people are not paying attention to the data. They're waiting for it to happen, and then they're looking at it 30 days later, and they're saying, oh, snap, like things are moving. Let's go, right? So that's how people look at data, and that's why the data is not, you know, you got to look at real-time data. <laughs> and um, this is all about you know, helping you understand the market and helping you understand like we are in sort of a golden time right now in order for you to buy a house if you're thinking about it because interest rates, yes, they are high. Like right now, conventional loans are about six and a quarter, 6.25, 6.5%. Um, you could do a small buy down and maybe get into the fives, like high fives. But we, because of that and because of where buyers and are like you know haven't fully returned to the market and where sellers are kind of like teeter-tottering you know like thinking like oh i don't know what's going to happen kind of thing well now is the time to jump in and get on those deals because with a strong agent like us that you know we work with our clients we had one the other day where we were actually in a multiple offer situation however we got the seller to cover a hundred percent of her closing costs this client is going into a property. We we're in a multiple offer situation and we we're able to negotiate all of her closing costs paid for by the seller. So I, that's why I believe it's a prime time to buy because you have some negotiating room right now. When interest rates drop, let's say March, April, May, what we're going to see is a lot of those buyers that couldn't afford anything are going to flood back to the market. Well, guess what? Inventory didn't change. And I don't believe inventory is going to change that much. Um, I do think we're going to see a little bit of increase, but inventory is not going to change. So because dr rates drop, we're going to see a little bit of inventory increase, but then you're going to have this massive mob of buyers coming back to the market that are just going to be like, hey, it's a it's time to buy a house again. And do you guys remember what happened during the early days of the pandemic when those people like jumped on things? Well, the people that didn't buy at the beginning of the pandemic are looking back and saying like, man, I should have bought. Because guess what? The average home in Northern Virginia area, it like, there's a joke, it increased by $200,000. Whether you live in a townhouse, condo, single family, like your home value went up by about $200,000. So when you think about that alone, you're going to see with the buyers floating back to market, home interest rates dropping, people are going to have more money in their pockets and they're going to just jump on things and they're going to be a multiple offer situation. Because even in this market where interest rates are high, and people are jumping in and they are starting to increase. So we are seeing multiple offer situation. So <clears throat> home sales obviously are down. We're seeing like median home, median home prices are starting to go back up. And this is like after a drop in the beginning of the year, January, February, and things have been like peaking up, peaking up. And I think it's just going to continue to skyrocket, right? Um, days on market, they're, they're starting to go back up a little bit, but Again, like I think like things are going to start picking back up and days on market is already going to going down. And that's the key right there is how sellers are thinking about it is like, man, like our house has been on the market for two weeks. Like we got something's wrong. Like we need to sell right away. So that's why they're able to make those deals. And that's why they're willing to jump on an offer. That's like, hey, I'll give you full price, but we want closing costs paid for. Not for much longer. I'm telling you guys. Um listings are also down showings are, are down obviously but this is where the market's going to be next year and in, in 2020 in 2024 i believe things are just going to continue continue to go up and home prices are going to go up like we know we know prices have been going up by about um by about like you know eight percent year over year and that was the case for COVID. it's going up the same amount and we just had um you know hurting for inventory so the other thing too is to understand that there are sales that are down. So like in the DC metro area, we're seeing negative 14% in terms of closed sales. And that's normal because of course, inventory is down, showings are down. Like, so in the whole mid Atlantic region, we're seeing a drop in essentially 5.6%. Um, 
But again, home values are going up 8%, you know, and that's something to keep in mind is like, think about that. Like even in a market where interest rates were at seven and 8%, home prices still went up by 8%. And I did a video that you guys can go back and look at, um, on, on how like someone can walk in, walk buy a house now. And at the end of this year, have about $61,000 in equity in their house. So I want you guys to think about that. Like go back and watch that video and you'll see, I, I break it down number by number on if you were to buy a house today or if you were to rent today. So think about that right now, because I, I believe it's, it's, it's the time to buy a house. You could refinance. Um, you could do what's called a two, one buy down a one zero buy down, get the seller to pay for it and refinance, you know, right around election time because interest rates are going to drop. I don't think they're going to drop below 5%. And those people that are waiting for it to drop below that, like, we'll keep on waiting. We'll just keep making forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. So, anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Um, in conclusion, I would say, well, first of all, hit the subscribe button below. Definitely hit the subscribe button below. And in conclusion, I I believe that we are in sort of like an even keel market right now. And for the next two months, I think buyers are going to have the advantage. But as the data gets released from end of last year because there was a spike in December, home sales. We had a good month in December and January starts getting released. February starts getting released. March, things are gonna take off and those people that were waiting on the sidelines to jump into the market, they're gonna be outbidded in a multiple offer situation. So jump on it, reach out to your agent, reach out to your lender and see where you are at right now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button below, like, follow, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.